The highlights from version 1.1 are filtering resources on the main view, an experimental C# -sharp proxy. So if you are using C# -sharp, I would invite you to test it. Drag and drop in the events to the timeline, using scenes as backgrounds, using definition variables as values to compare against in the if condition, hiding choice events if they don't meet certain requirements, very basic syntax highlighting on the text events to make it clearer, mirror import traits either from the character join or from the character editor. On the theme editor now, there's a bunch of new options, but whenever you make some changes, you don't have to go and click the preview changes. So if it's something that will modify how it looks, it will refresh automatically. And on the dialog node, you can now use the BR tag to insert line breaks and many, 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 many small changes. You can see the list here. You can pause for a second. And now I'm going to jump to 1.2. 1.2 was the biggest update until now. Dialogic start adding a canvas layer by default to avoid the confusion. Many of you had this issue where you created a dialogue but your game had a camera and the problem with that is that the dialogue will be created on a control node in the position zero of the screen. And if your camera was moving, you couldn't see exactly the dialogue in the position that your player was. But right now, Dialogic will create a canvas layer for you. So it will make sure that no matter where your screen is looking, the dialogue will be placed where it should be. Experimental translation was added. This change is not exactly the translation that I want, but it will make that whenever you display text, it will go to a simple got check and treat the text that you input there as a translation key. Subfolders. This is a massive contribution by Joe and Spooner, and it makes organizing projects so much better than before. Before you had to name them in a specific way, but right now you can create subfolders in all your resources. So thanks again for your contribution. So go ahead and try it out because it's great. I added the no wait command, which will automatically skip the text after two seconds without any user input. It will be improved later, but this is the bare minimum that a lot of you needed. You can also use the tag speed and then set a number, which will change the speed of the text that you're showing in the screen. It will only change the one of that text event. Then it will go back to whatever you set on your theme. It is not aware on the position that you place the tag, so it's not gonna be changing mid sentence but something like that will hopefully come in the future. And there's a new tab in the theme editor, which is called audio. In the audio tab, you can select sound or set of sounds to play while the text is being typed in the dialogue. This feature was added by Tim Kreef, which is a fellow YouTuber. He has really interesting videos. My favorite one so far is one of the latest in which he created a procedurally generated art gallery. And he's also working on a game called Octahedron. So I encourage you to visit his channel and subscribe. On the timeline, you can now select multiple events using CTRL for adding or removing selections of events, SHIFT for range select, and the typical CTRL C, CTRL X, CTRL V to copy, cut and paste, CTRL D to duplicate the selection, CTRL A and CTRL SHIFT A to select or deselect all the events. You can also remove events with the delete key or remove the selection using the up and down keys. And as an internal staff, the events have IDs now and are more modular. So we are preparing for having custom events included in the logic. So you can make your own events, share them with other people or simply help your team with some features that they might need. Here you have the full list of all the changes for 1.2. I know it's very big and I think that I will have to be changing the way that I'm making the videos lately since now there's a lot more contributions and maybe this kind of video is not as interesting as it was before because there are so many things and everything goes so quick that I don't want to overwhelm you with information. And I'm really excited every time I see some of your creations, so keep sharing them with me. I enjoy when, whenever I see Dialogic in the wild. And all of this was made thanks to my Patreons. I really appreciate all your support. You guys have been amazing. See you in the next one.